Welcome to the 2023 AIC Year in Review. Last year's conference held in South Bend included a presentation by General Peter Cressy of the George Washington Leadership Institute, and attendees were able to visit the Notre Dame football stadium. During the board meeting at the conference, Mendy Lasseline of Perry County was elected as AIC's president. The Association of Indiana Counties conducted its two-day legislative conference in February. During this conference, the AIC's property tax study was presented by Policy Analytics. The study was a fact-based reference for legislators, county officials, and the media as spiking residential property values created historic changes in the property tax system. The AIC study explained the changes in the property tax assessments are a result of the changing residential property market. At the legislative conference, Michael Hicks from Ball State University provided a presentation on the importance of quality of life amenities to grow and sustain a community. Governor Holcomb also discussed his legislative priorities with county officials from around the state. When the General Assembly concluded in the early morning hours of April 28th, the AIC had several legislative successes to celebrate including substantial increases in funding for county health departments and changes to the mental health system that will offer more resources to those struggling with addiction and mental health issues. Within the past year, counties began to receive their share of the opioid settlement funds, thanks to the AIC's efforts. In the spring, the AIC held six district meetings, allowing county officials to elect AIC board members, the district meetings were a celebration of county government through our fourth grade essay contest. AIC staff traveled the state providing budget training and a legislative update. We continued to hold Institute for Excellence courses throughout the year, including human resources, legislative affairs, budget training, and leadership courses. The AIC also selected to host the Midwest Conference of Counties with staff members from various Midwestern states joining the AIC for several days of training and discussion on association best practices. Attendees learned from marketing and communications experts from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. A contingency of Indiana officials traveled to Austin, Texas for the National Association of County Conference. During the conference, Hamilton County received a NACO Achievement Award for their County Water Availability Study. In 2023, the AIC launched their grants page, summarizing available grants for counties and communities. This information will be continuously updated by AIC staff. After six years, the highly successful TREX program is going through a software redesign to make the program even more user-friendly. Thanks to the AIC's legislative efforts, taxpayers will save even more money when local units use the program. Be sure to download the new AIC app by typing in Association of Indiana Counties at your app store and selecting AIC events. The app will help keep you informed on AIC activities. Please remember to prepare your county courthouse for Operation Greenlight, November 6th through the 12th, a NACO and AIC supported effort to recognize the contributions of veterans. Counties offer services to veterans and Operation Greenlight is a reminder to them if they are struggling with behavioral health issues, county veteran service officers can be of assistance. For more information on Operation Greenlight, you can visit the NACO webpage. Thanks to the support of county officials and association partners. The AIC is an influential policymaker and professional development organization in the state. The AIC Board of Directors and staff thank you for all you do on behalf of your communities. The AIC stands ready to assist you and we thank you for all that you do this year and every year for county government.